Homelessness, drug abuse, and the devastating opioid crisis have intertwined in a gripping battle that continues to haunt the streets of America. In particular, Kensington Avenue in Philadelphia has become a notorious epicenter of this crisis. The neighborhood is plagued by unsanitary conditions with garbage lined streets and a lack of access to basic amenities for the unhoused population. The opioid crisis in America has reached alarming proportions, impacting individuals from all walks of life. According to the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention, from 1999 to 2019, over 450,000 lives were lost due to opioid-related overdoses, with over 70% of all overdose deaths involving opioids. These numbers paint a grim picture of the ongoing battle against addiction and its devastating consequences. In Philadelphia, Kensington Avenue has become a symbol of the deep-rooted issues of homelessness and drug addiction. This once vibrant neighborhood now faces the harsh reality of rampant drug use and staggering rates of homelessness. Desperation and addiction drives individuals to seek refuge in the oblivion of substance abuse, leading to a devastating cycle that seems insurmountable. Xalazine, a veterinary tranquilizer commonly used for horses, has recently emerged as a troubling component of the opioid crisis. This sedative is often found mixed with fentanyl and heroin, amplifying their potency and lethality. As a non-opiate substance, xalazine compounds the dangers of drug abuse, making it difficult for users to predict their tolerance levels, resulting in a higher risk of overdose. What makes xalazine particularly dangerous is that users often do not realize that they have consumed it until their skin starts to decompose, resulting in severe complications. Unlike opioids, xalazine can render a person unconscious for several days and the standard opioid overdose reversal medication, Narcon, is not effective against it. The only treatment option currently available is supportive care, 
including the use of oxygen tanks to address respiratory depression caused by xylazine. One of the primary reasons for the popularity of xylazine, fentanyl, and heroin mixtures lies in their ease of availability and affordability. The illicit market offers these substances at relatively low prices, making them attractive to individuals struggling with addiction and seeking relief from their pain and suffering. Coupled with the accessibility of these drugs, especially in areas like Kensington Avenue, the cycle of abuse becomes even harder to break. One of the challenges in combating the crisis is the legal ambiguity surrounding xylazine. Since it is intended for veterinary use and not approved for human consumption, it falls into a gray area and is not classified as a controlled substance. However, the U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration is aware of its dangers and recently issued a nationwide report on the risks associated with its combination with illicit drugs. Fentanyl, a synthetic opioid 50 times more potent than heroin, has played a pivotal role in exacerbating the opioid crisis. Often disguised as heroin or mixed with it, fentanyl increases the risk of overdose exponentially. According to the National Institute on Drug Abuse, in 2019, approximately 80% of fentanyl-related overdose deaths involved other substances like heroin, cocaine, or methamphetamine. This dangerous combination is a legal trap that ensnares unsuspected users, leading to tragic outcomes. Drug use is a multifaceted phenomenon that has persisted throughout human history, encompassing a wide range of substances with varying effects on individuals. In the face of mounting evidence highlighting the harmful consequences, it remains perplexing why people continue to use drugs like xylazine, heroin, and fentanyl, despite their known detrimental impact on health and well-being. One of the primary motivations for drug use is the desire to escape from emotional pain, stress, trauma, or a sense of overwhelming reality. Drugs can offer a temporary respite from personal troubles, creating a soothing and euphoric state that helps individuals cope with their inner struggles. While these substances may provide temporary relief, they often exacerbate the underlying issues, leading to a vicious cycle of dependence and addiction. Genetic and biological factors can also contribute to drug use patterns. Certain individuals may have a predisposition to addiction due to genetic factors that affect their brain chemistry in response to drugs.
The euphoric effects of substance like heroin and fentanyl can lead to rapid addiction, as the brain associates drug use with intense pleasure, creating a powerful reward-seeking cycle that is difficult to break. For some individuals, the allure of drugs may stem from a lack of viable alternatives to address their needs and desires. Limited access to education, employment, opportunities, healthcare, and support systems can create a sense of hopelessness and desperation. In such circumstances, Mental health issues and substance abuse disorders contribute significantly to homelessness. Many individuals experiencing homelessness suffer from mental illnesses such as schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, or depression. Limited access to mental health services, stigma, and the high cost of treatment often leave these individuals without the support they need, increasing their risk of becoming homeless. Substance abuse, which can be both a cause and a consequence of homelessness, further compounds the problem by impairing social functioning and exacerbating personal challenges. Family instability, including domestic violence, family breakdown, and youth aging out of foster care is another factor contributing to homelessness.
victims of domestic violence often find themselves without a safe place to live, leading to homelessness. Similarly, young people who age out of foster care without a strong support system are at a higher risk of becoming homeless. These vulnerable populations require targeted interventions and assistance to break the cycle of homelessness. Systemic issues such as a lack of affordable health care, education, and social services contribute to homelessness. Inadequate support systems for individuals leaving incarceration or the foster care system further compounds the problem. The absence of a comprehensive and coordinated approach, along with gaps in services, leaves many individuals without the necessary resources to reintegrate into society successfully. Poverty has cast a long shadow over the United States of America. It is a deeply entrenched problem that affects individuals and communities across the nation. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, approximately 38 million Americans live below the poverty line, a figure that includes over 11 million children. This means that roughly one in eight Americans struggles to make ends meet and lacks access to basic necessities. Economic inequality, inadequate access to education, limited job opportunities, and systemic discrimination all contribute to the perpetuation of poverty. Rising house costs, healthcare expenses, and student loan debts further exacerbates the situation, pushing individuals and families deeper into poverty. 
The impact of poverty is far-reaching and affects every aspect of a person's life. Financial instability leads to food insecurity, inadequate health care, and limited educational opportunities, thus trapping individuals in a cycle of disadvantage. Poverty also takes a toll on mental health, increasing stress, anxiety, and depression. Furthermore, communities plagued by poverty often face higher crime rates, reduced social mobility, and limited access to quality infrastructure and resources. Contrary to popular belief, poverty does not discriminate solely based on race or ethnicity. It affects people from all backgrounds with women, children, and minority communities disproportionately affected. Single parents household, individuals with disability, and the elderly face heightened vulnerabilities, struggling to escape the clutches of poverty. Addressing poverty requires a multifaceted approach involving government initiatives, community engagement, and individual actions. Policies aimed at improving access to quality education, affordable housing, and health care are crucial. Expanding job opportunities, increasing the minimum wage, and providing support for small businesses can alleviate economic disparities. Building stronger social safety nets and investing in mental health services are equally essential. 